turf racing coming up at Canterbury Park. And Ed, you've got some fair odds for us for the Canterbury Derby. I do. A uh, small but mighty field and a big favorite that has a big question. One in Vermillion, clearly the fastest. I've checked out all the data. He is the fastest, but he's never been on turf and he's coming in here off a couple sprints. Now stretches out to a mile. I do have him as the most likely winner, but I think he's going to be odds on and maybe some opportunity to swing elsewhere. All right. And uh, some great uh, turf racing and stakes on uh, Wednesday night. So a lot to look forward to. And so who is your pick in the Canterbury Derby? I think Golden Bandit is ultimately going to be the one to offer value. Now, we have a lot of content elsewhere on our YouTube channel for Canterbury. And I heard a hint of a scratch coming in this race. But it was very clear, being the poker player I am, that they did not want to reveal who that scratch would be. Uh, but one is coming. Hopefully it's not Golden Bandit because even – uh, if the scratch is someone else like Worthington, uh, the number two horse coming up for Mike Maker, one of the outsiders, I think we're going to get our price because one in Vermillion is going to be such an underlay at odds on with that big turf question. So Golden Bandit, pretty comfortable he's going to be the play for me. My fair odds, uh, I believe I have it uh, four or five to one. He's six to one on the morning line, fourth choice out of six. So with all these, uh, the all stakes pick five, all stakes pick three. That's going to be my opportunity to maybe separate because I do think the card looks somewhat chalky earlier. Uh, so maybe this will be the opportunity to uh, hammer it home in the anchor leg. I like it. And uh, all turf pick three, which is very cool. And, uh, you know, one of the things I've noticed I'm saying about Canterbury with uh, some of the shorter fields. But if you can single in just in those races that you can have conviction in a pick four, pick five, it still can pay really well. Uh, I think too many people are playing pick fours and pick fives with, you know, two by three by three, and they're just kind of diluting tickets. So if you can go in, get a couple singles and your pick five, pick four, uh, you can get some pretty nice payoffs. Yeah. And there they have such low takeout. So right. you're getting a, a little bit back before you even bet, so to speak. Yeah. You're so. getting it with the low takeout. Uh, the pools are good because people, because of the low takeout. So it's just a good combination. And uh, I, I thought the payouts have been really good. Well, this is an important race to get right because it is the last leg of that pick three of the all stakes pick five and then the penultimate leg of the late pick five and pick four. So Canterbury Derby, only a six horse field for now, but you're going to need to get it right if you want to connect. It makes for a great Wednesday night. I'm hoping Golden Bandit for me, number three in the Canterbury Derby.